women's streetwear is that dip into the masculine clothing of like comfortable hoodies, t-shirts, jeans, pants, sweats, all that stuff. Um, but mixing in like feminine elements. It's all about a little bit of a balance. We pretty much take for granted that the things we wear, all these things come in colors. What's going on YouTube? Rachel here. I'm back at you with another video. Today, this video is going to be for the girls. It's going to be for my girl, my chicks. Um, I get questions all the time about how to get into streetwear for women. It's a lot easier than you might think actually, but basically there are a lot of girls who want to wear streetwear stuff, they want to be more comfortable, but they also still want to look feminine. And it's all about really like what I believe to be that dip into the masculine clothing of like comfortable hoodies, t-shirts, jeans, pants, sweats, all that stuff. Um, but mixing in like feminine elements. It's all about a little bit of a balance, which is really easy if you follow some of these tips. To start with, I would say start with the mindset of just wanting to be comfortable. If you uh, just want to look comfy, you want to wear sneakers, sweatpants and stuff, you're kind of already in streetwear. Like that's, you're kind of already there. I would call that norm core or casual wear where it's just like hoodies, something anybody can wear, t-shirts, sweatpants. You can find this stuff anywhere. You can go to Walmart and find comfortable pieces to wear. Start there, see what looks good on you, and then you start to move into doing more research and finding stuff, not necessarily pricier, but a little bit more hype, I guess you could say, because I guess your ultimate goal, if you want it to be, is to be that ultimate hype bay. The definition of a hype bay, it's basically a play on words of hype beast. So a hype beast is basically someone who's into all the hype clothing that's coming out. It doesn't even have to be clothing, it can be technology, it can be Pokemon cars, it doesn't matter. But they're into the hottest, newest stuff. The meaning of a hype bay is basically a girl or a woman whose personal style leans heavily towards exclusive brands and limited production items, particularly those of an athletic nature or typically masculine aesthetic. That defines it right there. You're dipping into like in a masculine aesthetic, um, very comfortable, sort of like a set style, but you're mixing in feminine elements so that um, you have a balance. So like I said, start with some casual, comfortable stuff and then get in, a big part of streetwear is getting into sneakers. Half this channel is dedicated to sneaker reviews and stuff and new hype sneakers. So you can follow this channel and see it. You can look on several different apps, the sneakers app, the Adidas app. You can start out with simple stuff like Vans and Converse's. They go with everything. You cannot go wrong with those. But you know, maybe aim to get uh, save up and get maybe a pair of Jordans or may maybe some Yeezys, who knows. Whatever is in your budget, just something that uh, will really encourage you. Because once you get a nice pair of sneakers, you want to wear stuff that holds up to the sneakers, you know? And so nobody wants to wear a fresh pair of dope, cool sneakers, but then just have this regular old outfit. So sneakers is a huge component of streetwear. Once you've like downloaded some apps and stuff, follow some pages of women who wear streetwear fashion. I'll put a couple of suggestions down below in the description where you can start at. Follow a few pages, create like a mood board on Pinterest and see what you like, screenshot some items and then pick out what's your favorite and what you naturally are inclined to lean towards. Maybe you're more of a sweatpants type person Maybe you're more of a cargo pants type person with J's. You know, whatever works for you. If you want to also uh, save a little bit, I would definitely dip into vintage stuff. Really easy to find like a dope oversized vintage t-shirt for under 30 bucks. You can go thrifting, find one for like five bucks if you know what you're looking for. And then pairing it with like some oversized baggy jeans with like rips in them or something. That's a fit right there. You can definitely pull that off. You can never have so many graphic tees as you can see here. Uh, that's almost streetwear to its core after sneakers and they're not expensive. Most of them are under $30 at least. So if you have like a graphic tee with some sweatpants for example, throw on a couple of cute chains. Maybe your style is a little bit more goth, um, punk, you know, 
experiment with silver stuff and chokers and all that and then you can bring in those feminine elements you know maybe do your makeup have a hairstyle as you would normally but overall the look is that tomboy streetwear look so now that you've created some mood boards got some apps experimented with things a little bit you're probably ready to hey post a couple of pics and see how people react most of the time you're going to get a good reaction because it's really it's always dope and fresh and fun to see a girl who just knows you know who has drip i mean that that's <laughs> girls generally look good and wear like fashionable things but to say you got drip is a completely different thing altogether um a couple other tips would be if you want to mix in feminine elements keep your nails done wear like a little purse or bag just those sort of accessories and outside items that are outside of the main fit of the basic top bottom and sneakers and oversized clothing uh, always works color blocking kind of keeping like a color scheme in mind maybe you have like a red that you're going for today with gold or something and you've got like a red shirt and your shoes have red in them but you know you wear like a neutral pant and some like calm jewelry also too there's a huge difference between streetwear and between and hype beast culture i encourage you to know a little bit about hype beast culture just to understand the culture and see what is dope at the moment and find pieces that you ultimately want to own and have in your collection and in your wardrobe that's called a grilled a grilled piece will encourage you to follow fashion and um, keep going with your own personal style and kind of like getting that ultimate grilled piece is um an accomplishment in streetwear culture that's why there's a whole app based off of it which is something that i also suggest that you download educate yourself um i'll suggest some more apps in the description follow some pages tiktok is great now with the ootd uh, outfit of the day tag you can look at tiktok and they show you quick videos of how to put outfits together and it's absolutely perfect so go for it learn about it experiment have fun and you will always be comfortable doing it because it's streetwear that doesn't mean you don't have to be a hype beast or into just hype items to pull off dope streetwear looks they are not one in the same you can find smaller brands or you can thrift stuff you can find vintage stuff you know you can completely have a whole entire wardrobe and style that has no hype items at all but hey if you're into a little bit of hype why not definitely try to go for it um because when you're out and about people see you if they know they know a look that i really appreciate is the um kind of tight fitting close fitting shirt with like some baggy or loose fitting pants and some sneakers that is always a go-to look that's really fresh and you cannot go wrong with that that's something you can play with if you want to have that perfect balance of feminine and masculine and again just accessorize 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 it just adds like that cherry on top that makes a fit look just really amazing now you have it it's just a it's just practicing and experimenting with different stuff eventually you know post a couple of fit pics you will be that hype bay you will be that girl that girls want to be and guys love you're gonna have swag you're gonna have drip and um you're going to be comfortable while doing it i always encourage encourage girls to choose comfort and being who you are over just trying to be this baddie all the time or being wearing stuff that's uncomfortable when you're comfortable confidence comes more naturally honestly so if you have any questions or if you want to message me dm me on instagram my instagram page is at glowfits you know share your questions down below comment like and subscribe to my channel uh, i love talking about feminine streetwear but i you know just this channel is about streetwear in general i review sneakers i talk about internet culture and um i re really appreciate um any love shown to me so thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time